fast is real fun, but if you can't stop fast, it's just dangerous. That's why hot rodders like to upgrade their brakes. For the Fiero, there's a number of upgrades. One of the most popular is getting a bigger brake booster. But how much does that actually help? Well, let's find out. Here we have the stock Fiero's booster, and here is the larger brake booster from a Chevy S10 or available on Summit. You can note their size difference when comparing them side by side. The larger booster is about 2 inches larger in diameter than the stock Fiero booster. The theory behind this upgrade is that since the big brake booster has a bigger diaphragm with more surface area, it will be able to apply more force to the brake master cylinder, which in turn will apply more force to all of the brakes. Let's get to some testing to see if the theory holds true. The testing location will be a flat straight road taking place on a dry yet overcast afternoon. The test subject will be a 1986 Pontiac Fiero Sport Coupe rocking the 2.8 liter V6. Out back we have Midi 245 5016s with drilled and slotted rotors, recently rebuilt brake calipers, new pads, and braided stainless steel hoses. Up front we have two 25-5016s, and the braking components are equally statured with those of the rear. To prove whether or not this theory holds correct, we will run a series of three tests. The first will mock a highway or freeway driving, 65 miles an hour, braking and ending at zero measuring the distance. The second test will signify city driving, 35 miles an hour, braking to zero miles an hour and measuring the distance. The final test will be a brake lockup test. We will run the car at 25 miles an hour and slam on the brakes as hard as possible in an attempt to lock up the wheels and skid the tires. Here you can see the stock Fiero brake booster installed. Now let's swap these out. Voila! Now let's test it out and see how it performs. Just as before, we will be running the three tests three times each and taking an average. At 65 miles an hour, we see a decrease in stopping distance of about 18 feet, or 11%. On the other hand, at 35 miles an hour, stopping distance was almost unaffected. Locking up the brakes was easier than before without any noticeable change to the bias. Fronts would lock up easily, but the rears did not show any desire to lock up most likely due to the larger, heavier, and stickier rear tires. So this got me wondering, how does my Fiero with its big brake booster compare to a brand new Fiero back in the 80s? Luckily, YouTube has the answer. And we'll add another accolade for Fiero brakes. While a bit touchy, with a tendency for the rear wheels to lock up first, all in all, they're very secure. Fade is modest and stops were straight with a very short average of 125 feet from 55 miles per hour. Seeing that MotorWeek's test was done at 55, I decided to follow suit and do my own 55 test and see how my car compares. So in the end, is it worth it? At 35 miles an hour or low speeds, we see basically no change at all. And that's largely due to the ability to lock up the wheels too easily. There's nothing more that the brakes themselves can do. At 65, we see a decent improvement of 18 feet. That is an entire car's distance. This could be the difference between hitting that car in front of you or not. Locking up the wheels was considerably easier, even at higher speeds. But then again, has locking wheels and skidding ever been considered a good thing?
pedal feel remained firm as before, but now a slightly lighter pedal push is required to stop the vehicle under regular driving conditions. Installation will vary based on the method that you go about it, but in general takes only an hour or so and just requires a few wrenches and a hammer. Yes, a big hammer. Whether you fabricate everything yourself or you buy a complete ready-to-install kit, this upgrade can be performed for $170 or less, making it one of the cheapest available brake upgrades for the Fiero. Please do note that if you do not have a properly working braking system, this will not fix that. A squishy pedal feel or inability to lock the brakes could indicate you have a problem with your braking system and that needs to be addressed first. Installing a big brake booster on a faulty braking system could result in brake failure and cause a fatal accident. All in all, I'm happy with this upgrade. Now I can stop faster than a professional driver on a brand new Fiero back in the day.